Good morning, everybody. This is Tracy Brown, your somatic uh, ah, your somatic nutrition dietitian, and host of these weekly little um, videos I like to do for y'all. So this week we're going to talk about expect expectancy, and that might not be a word um, that we're used to in the dietetic and maybe even coaching realm. I'm not sure, but um, we all know about the word consistency. But I think that um, being consistent, let's say, like yesterday I talked about in the, in the little um, in the little teaching that I put up yesterday around expectancy with your clients, so uh, or even potential clients. Um, like if you want to be in business, people have to know you exist, right? And so that means you consistency have to show. You have to consistently show up, which would mean, um, like I said in the. Um, the little blurb yesterday is that if you are doing you know a local practice that you know the people the doctors that you work with the therapists you work with you don't want to really just do a one and done coffee date you want to be able to keep in touch with them whether you have consistent clients with them or not now I know I've talked tons with my um, my private clients and in my um, non-diet counseling skills course that you know you're going to have your your tree that has its low hanging fruit with people who like your eating disorder professionals that you're going to work with a lot. And then you're going to have like other tiers of people that, gosh, they're good people and you want to work with them, but they might not see your ideal people all the time. But that doesn't mean we still don't want to check in with them every once in a while. Hey, how are you doing? Are you noticing this? Like, I'm noticing this. I know you mostly see GI issues, but I'm noticing I'm getting a lot more people with GI struggles, and this is how they're presenting. Are you seeing that? And so those aren't meetings that you have to do, you know, every week, but it would be good to do that, you know, twice a year, let's say, and just check. Check in with how people are doing. That creates consistency and expectancy that, like, you um they expect that you communicate they expect that you um have something to offer that they can look for in their clients that maybe they don't see the same kind of clients consistency that consistently that you do so i didn't mean to get into a whole like marketing um expectancy um, talk but what i really was going to talk about today was is right from the jump now um I I started doing this really, really, really early on in my nutrition um, ther therapy practice and career is that the first session, I knew how deeply important it was to, for people to feel like there's some hope. You know, I've been in their shoes, so it's like I didn't really just want to see somebody and then like they maybe talk to me or at me about some stuff or maybe they really even listened. But I didn't really know what was next, like what was expected of me, what I needed to be doing. Um, and it's not people's fault. It's just that I think that we have to continue to evolve to help people really feel safe and to build trust. And so something that I talk ad nauseum about, again, with my private and the, 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 the people who are in my um, counseling skills group is that we have to create expectancy. Like if you were to work with me, here's the big picture, and here's some examples of all the little things we're gonna do throughout our time together to get you where you wanna go. I create expectancy. And so that's gonna show up not only in what I say that for those first two sessions, but, and, and paint a picture for them, but it's also gonna show up in, um, just the little things of how I show up and start the sessions. Now I do, unfortunately, and I'm still, still struggling with this. So I'm, I'm, get, I'm thinking that I'm, one of the ways I'm going to handle it is probably start to increase the time of my sessions instead of um, 50 to 60 minutes. Probably go, go up to 75. I've been playing with that off and on for the last four or five years, and because I'm doing so much somatic work in my nutrition counseling sessions now that we kind of need a little both. Um, I do a lot of settling time and a lot of regulation work, so it's like, you know, we still got to do the food work too. And so one of the ways I'm going to play with that to create expectancy of this is what we're going to be doing is to tell people about that, to offer that, and to start to transition here soon. To do, the, do, do that is, is really important. So anyway, but being consistent with your session times is really important. So if you offer, 
if you say your sessions are 50 to 60 minutes, that's what they need to be and learn how to kind of like create a beginning and a middle and an end in some level and be more in charge <laughs> of, you're not so much in charge of the process or the content that's needed in those moments, but to create a container can create expectancy. Your clients know like there's a certain flow to things and what to expect versus one day, um, you know, one thing that's really different happens and the next day something else happens and that can be really unnerving to our clients who have a whole lot of issue obviously with wanting to control everything. Um, not out of, I gotta control everything, but just out of lack of safety. So expectancy is really important um, in that kind of way. The other thing I would say about expectancy is in the little things, you know, re you know be consistent with how you're returning, um, you know, voice messages and emails and, and be really consistent. So if you're getting back to people immediately and then you go a string of weeks and you don't, that's kind of a thing as well. So be, be mindful of all those little things that help build trust. I think I'll leave it at that for today. Really be thinking about how you do your first couple sessions. I think that's the best place to create expectancy and then you stick with it, essentially. So if you say you're gonna get clients a handout and I'm guilty of this too, um, you know, do get it to them. Or if you're going to recommend them a vitamin, remember to do that. <laughs> um, all these things I think really help create expectancy of um, you know, building safety, building relationship, letting people know what to expect from you. So, and teaching them how to expect them to show up for themselves in those sessions as well. Yeah, and you really, really what we're doing is mirroring. We're doing a lot of mirroring and teaching on how to show up to take care of themselves. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any ways that you created expectancy, I would love to hear it in the comments below for your clients. If you, um, if you feel like you fully understand what I'm talking about, I would love to hear you say, yep, I got it. I'm going to apply certain things today. I would love to hear about that as well. So until tomorrow, we are going to have um, each day, we're going to have a little bit of different little drips and drops of what expectancy looks like that builds um, relationship in our sessions, that build relationship in our um, outreach work, and um, just some little bits along the way. So I will be live again on Thursday, same time, same place, you know, around 8.15ish, depending on how traffic goes to get back here on time. But um, I hope you have a great day. And if you have any questions, please message me or put it below. Thank you so much, and I will talk to you all real soon. Take care.